All right, this is pretty cool. Something I'm sure is going to put a smile on a lot of people's faces. Literally a drug to help regrow teeth is about to start human trials. Japanese researchers are going to be using this drug on 30 men who are missing at least one molar. The IV treatment suppresses a protein which prevents teeth from regrowing. They've tested it on rats and ferrets. They found no notable side effects. So here we go. Think about the impact that this may have. More than 150 million Americans have at least one tooth missing. Almost 40 million Americans have no teeth at all. Joining us now, Dr. Joe Willardson, a reconstructive and cosmetic dentist. Uh, good morning to you. Is this a game changer? It absolutely is. Um, you know, we've been asked for a long time by our patients, when are they going to start to regrow teeth? and now it's starting to finally come to light. Uh, I think that what's gonna happen is it's just going to really progress dentistry even further. Um, you know, like you said, there's so many people missing teeth, whether it's from medications or bone loss or disease, this really changes uh, the way that the, we as dentists will look at how we do dentistry. Tell me a little bit, Dr. Willardson, about the science behind it, how we got to this point, and how soon we are from this being available. Sure. The, you know, the thing about it is we'd always heard in the industry that teeth are going to be regrown. We really have not known how, whether it was going to be stem cells, whether it was going to be monoclonal antibodies. And I think this will be the first of many types of treatment along the way. So as the scientists really uh, narrow this down, I don't think that, I think there's gonna be more than one way that they're going to be doing this. This just happens to be the first. So the cost is gonna be a question right off the bat for a lot of people. I know getting veneers can be very costly right now. What might it cost to regrow teeth? So the way I look at it is, if we look at how we replace a tooth now with the dental implant, by the time you go through the process, a dental implant could be anywhere from 3,000 all the way up to $8,000 for a single tooth. So. It also depends on why was the tooth lost in the first place, because we'll really have to get to the root of the problem before we start um, making new teeth, because we just don't want the patient to go through this dental cycle of having to re-grow uh, teeth over and over again. So I think the cost is probably going to be similar to what it costs now. Or I really have uh, that's to be determined. But the other thing that we also have to take into consideration is when someone loses a tooth, there's bone loss. When the tooth is lost, the teeth start to shift around it. So I think that what will happen is we'll have to figure out new ways to grow bone and better ways to even move the teeth. So in order to prepare a patient to get a new tooth, we're going to have to make some changes along the way. It's, uh, it's kind of funny, you know, um, necessity is the mother of invention. So as, as we're able to grow new teeth, new developments in dentistry will happen as well to to take to take uh precedence as well yeah and i guess it opens the door to what other bones might they be able to regrow outside of, of teeth the possibilities could be endless with something like this are some people more susceptible to tooth loss over time you talked about some of the causes but i would imagine prevention and, and not getting to that point is key here yeah, prevention certainly, but there's also some genetics. Uh, we have patients that come in that brush and floss regularly, but genetics also plays a role in bone loss. Um, alignment of the teeth, uh, tooth decay, all of those things will need to be addressed in order to make sure that uh, we can we can successfully treat these patients as we go into making them new teeth. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.